We had a lot of concerns about how long this virus live. I have a I have a, a good friend in California who waits a full 24 hours on his on his packages outside before touching it and bringing it in. Are we now finding out that those steps were unnecessary? Well, Chuck, part of what I do during my day job is I train healthcare workers of every stripe to stay safe when they're taking care of patients with highly communicable infectious diseases, right? And so what we follow is this philosophy that if you understand how the disease is transmitted, you can, even if you find yourself in trouble, you can find a way to keep yourself safe. So the science around how this disease is transmitted hasn't changed. I think what the CDC guidelines are doing are really stratifying the risk of what is the highest risk activity and and then taking it further down. So we know that the highest risk of transmission is when you spend time within six feet, feet around up to 15 minutes with someone who might be shedding this virus through the respiratory tract. Now, that same person might then be putting that virus all over the surfaces around them. The the fortunate thing for us is viruses need human cells to survive. And the longer they are in the environment, the the more they die, you know? And so the the primary risk is that air, the the aerosolization or droplets, but people can touch immediately. If they immediately touch a surface and then touch themselves with their hands that are not, that are dirty, they can transmit it to themselves. The CDC is saying is that some of the studies that showed that the virus may survive or up to two days on surfaces, may be picking up dead virus and maybe picking up the fact that these viruses could be there. You don't know, though, when the last time is a person has touched a public surface, it's always still the best practice to wash your hands. Here's what I do. When I get packages in my house, I take out the stuff that I need and I throw the packages away and I wash my hands before I touch anything else in Mm -hmm. the house. And that ensures I'm not bringing the virus in the house. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.